Welcome to another talk, talk with your stoned at home dad, Serge Hi. This is where I review cannabis strains, I smoke them, then I talk and rant about bullshit I am not an expert on. What are we smoking today? Today we're going to smoke poison pineapple that I got from Ganja Guys and we're going to review Ganja Guys. Into the strain review, poison pineapple has a total THC of 24.51%, CBD is at 0.1% and it is cultivated by Voodoo Cannabis. Alright, let's open it up and see what it smells like. Ooh. It's like a tropical Swisher Sweet, guys. Yo, I wonder how... Okay, yo. The aroma is like a tropical Swisher Sweet. If you ever bought a tropical Swisher Sweet, it's just what it smells like. I wonder what this would taste like in a tropical Swisher Sweet. Holy shit. Damn, dude. Okay, it's sweet. It's got this tropical type of aroma to it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That's what it smells like, just like a tropical Swisher Sweet. Shit. All right. I love the way it smells. But what's it look like? Well, let's take a look then. Buddy! It is one beautiful gram nug that you are seeing here. There's a good amount of frost covering the whole nug. It is dense. Awesome trim job. I'm not seeing many here. There are little tiny little hairs. Very short. And it looks... Be a beautiful. You like the way it looks? I love the way it looks. I do love the way you look. You look so pretty. So pretty. <sighs> I'm excited. All right. Get out your grinder. Let's grind up this weed. Yes, indeed. Break it up. Oh, can we get a crackle? Let's get a crackle. Oh, it's firm too. Oh, damn it, come on. All the way. All right. Sticky. Sticky. Oh, uh, yeah. It's not too sticky. Yeah, uh, my fingers are still sticky. Not too sticky. Not too, too sticky. But it's sticky, sticky, sticky. Grind up your weed because we about to smoke it indeed. I need a smoke. Oh, my gosh. Yo, it's been hours. Yo, it's been hours. It's been more since, since 12 o'clock. Oh, boy. All righty. I'm ready to blaze up. Are you ready to blaze up? I'm so ready to blaze up. And then we're going to talk about Ganja Guys. Ganja Guys. You can find them on the internet. On the corner of International and A. Haha. -ha, right across from AK Frost and from right, right in front of the Crown Plaza Hotel. Yo, the location of Ganja Guys. <laughs> Oh, I have so much good stuff to say about Ganja Guys. <laughs> Not just Ganja Guys, but Ganja Guys. Love the name, by the way. Love the name, Ganja Guys. Ganja Guys. Where you gonna get your ganja? From the Ganja Guys. Such a nice story. Okay, I got a lot to talk about Ganja Guys, but first, we gotta blaze up this weed. So pack up your bowl, pack up your pipe, whatever you like. Cause we about to get it hype and smoke to the light and we might smoke all night. Don't put up a fight. Burn it up so bright. <laughs> Alright. My bowl is packed. Is your bowl packed? Let's cause an impact and let's fire it up, buttercup, and see what it tastes like. Sweating here. Oh shit. <coughs> oh shit. Oh damn. What the fuck? Oh, that is hard. <coughs> That's mild to hard show. Oh damn. Yep, I'm gonna start sweating. Shit. Oh wow. What the fuck? That was one hit, dude. Wow. 
one hit and I'm already sweating. That's good weed. Okay. It hits mild to a little bit harsh, really more on the mild side. Otherwise, I'd be coughing up a lung real bad right now. But no, it hits mild, it hits mild. How does it taste though? I don't know yet. Later to her. Yeah, it's mild. Yeah, it's mild. <coughs> Yo, I'm, I can't even get a taste in. Hold on. What the fuck's going on here? Just getting earthiness. Just getting an earthy taste. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let me put a burn up in it. I don't hit it too hard. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, now I can taste that sweetness now. Okay. Don't hit it too hard though. Shit, man. Damn. That's mild. That's mild. Voodoo. You're going to put a curse on me. No, no. It's got that sweetness. Yeah, it is. I'm not pressured. Earthy, but you still get that sweet kind of fruity taste. Not too grapeviney. Something else. Mmm. Hold on, man. Hold on. This one's taking me a minute to get. Hold on. Okay. Now it's just getting, now it's just feeling, now it's just tasting earthy. Now it's just tasting earthy. I did get a little bit of that sweetness before, but damn, yeah, it hits mild. Don't hit it too hard. That should, you're gonna cough. You're gonna cough. Oh, fuck. I'm starting to feel it now. Oh, wow. Dude, that was like a minute or two. Oh, shit. What? No way. Oh, damn. That's fast. Okay. I like the way it looks. I really like the way it looks. I like the way it smells. I'm not really too happy with the way it hits, but you know, I can still handle it. It's probably gonna smooth out, hopefully. But okay, let's talk about ganja guys. Not ganja guys. I'm talking about the ganja guys of Alaska. I didn't. Okay, I don't. They they're just new to the scene. I don't know how many months they've been around, but I. Look, I, I visit AK Frost a lot, and they're right across from AK Frost. And I noticed Ganja guys, I'm like, a weed store right there? Oh, location, location, location. There is so many hotels there. So many hotels there. So many hotels there. And their building has a taco place. El Jefe's uh, Tacos, Taco Stand? El Jefe's Taco, El Jefe's Taco Joint. Yes, El Jefe's Taco Joint, which I didn't get to go inside, but it's like right there. El Jefe's to the left, Ganja Guys to the right. Oh, and they're building the doors. Oh my gosh, the beautiful doors. They're just like big, huge, solid, and they're just, they just look cool. They just look cool. They have their own parking, which I always love about a cannabis place. Their prices, very fair, very decent, and reasonable. Because you got some places that charge 20. I don't think I've seen, I don't think that I've seen a single uh, gram in there that was like 20. I think they were like 18 and less. But good prices, good cannabis. All this weed that I've smoked this week, I'm very happy with. This is probably the most, this is the most mild that I've smoked, this one. But otherwise, this one's hitting me fast. Don't you? And all the weeds hit fast too. Shit, damn. Okay. I'm going to really get into the nitty gritty of everything, but I'm just going to let you guys know Ganja Guys is killing it. They're doing awesome. Beautiful website. Oh my gosh. I'm going to talk so much about your website. Beautiful, beautiful website. Whoever designed it needs mad kudos. Um, great location. You guys have awesome staff. I had um, LaVon. He, great. Yo, LaVon, awesome conversation I had with you. Dope. 
bud dealer, a bud tender, bud dealer, <laughs> a dope bud tender, dope bud tender. He's a dope bud tender, knows his stuff, had some good conversation, didn't make me feel rushed either because a customer came in also. And yo, I pick up seven strains, seven fucking strains. So <laughs> it just it gets gets a little bit on there. I would, it would get on my nerves, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, Levon, you're awesome. Uh, awesome bud tender. Great customer service, beautiful shop, very beautiful shop. It's small, but it's really nice and quaint and really shiny and bright. I like it. Great selection of weed, a lot of weed. I ended up getting all seven strains and all different types of strains as well, so something new. Uh, shoot, great cultivators. Oh, and your social media, you guys are killing it. Good job on social media, uh, mostly doing it on Instagram. And check out the Instagram. They. They are, uh, I'm just feeling this weed now. Shit, damn, wow. Oh, this is gonna be a hard one, okay. Is this a sativa? This is feeling like a sativa. Yeah, it's feeling like a sativa. Okay, hey, Instagram, I'm sorry. I gotta say goodbye to you guys because Instagram doesn't allow for these 30 minute videos. So if you are on Instagram, jump on YouTube, jump on Facebook, I, up, up, I upload these 30 minute videos every single day. You can hear me talk more about the ganja guys of Alaska. Awesome dispensary. And you can see the effects of this weed, which is starting to hit me already. Shit, okay. <laughs> this is cool. Yo, I'm feeling this. Yo, holy sh no, it's, there's some indica. No, oh man. Now it feels more like a sativa than anything. Okay, I'm gonna hit this. I'm gonna shut the fuck up. Goodbye. Okay, till tomorrow, Instagram. Goodbye, stay high. Hit it with me, hit it hard, and let's Get stoned. Go check out the gods, you guys. The peace chicken grease on this bottle. Bye. Instagram. Shot. Yeah, you had a shot. Okay. So I was looking at that drink. I'm like, I need to drink you. I need to drink you. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm fucking high. Oh, I'm feeling this. Whoa, man, dude. Yo, I can listen. Oh shit, dude. Yo, what? Yo, I'm listening. Holy shit. Wow, I could hear. Um, yo, the senses. This is crazy. This is nice. I like this. I like this. I don't like the way it fucking hits. Don't hit it hard. That's all. Just don't hit it hard. Just hit it a mile, then you're gonna be fine. Yo, what the fuck's going on? Yo, yo, I'm getting such a head hat. I'm getting a head buzz right now oh this is a big head high yo what percent is this 20 hmm yo i don't know man yo i swear with all my tolerance being so fucking low this is gonna fuck me up damn this is gonna fuck me up i'm already feeling this yeah i'm buzzing now yeah i'm buzzing in the back oh, okay all right let's keep talking about ganja guys ganja guys okay oh you're fucking packaging Oh my gosh! Yeah, okay. Look, brand new to the game, Ganja guys, and you guys, because I just started seeing you. Um, I mean, I noticed you guys before a couple months ago, but I was like, uh, should I, should I, should I? I don't know. And then I did, because I was like, I, just, I, I got, I got to check you guys out. I got to check you guys out, and I'm so happy I did. And I'm so happy I did. You guys got some good weed. Good weed. Your pack. Uh, sorry, there was bubbles in there. Um, your packaging. 
I'm high. Fuck. Okay. Shit. Oh, this is going to be hard. I love your packaging. Everybody's going to know your fucking packaging. This is just... It's like a paper and plastic type of situation. It's wonderful. I love that you guys have the whole thing on the back. You guys end up putting your things on the back as well, which, you know, perks. I see how you guys do that. And then you're going to just tape it back on and all that. So you have the information on what it is. The information that you guys provide, I understand it's, it seems like it's everything that uh, the cultivators can give you so far. And that's what you guys include. And which is good information. <clears throat> I, rec I, I need to scan these fucking QR codes. Damn it. Sorry. You got these QR codes. And I mention this like every single week. But your website is beautiful. Your website is very beautiful. If you guys start putting these QR codes. And if these are QR codes. Not just for your own stock inventory. But uh, QR codes for us as cons customers, I was going to say as civilians, as customers, I'm high, guys. Fuck, I'm high. I'm feeling good. Uh, if we scan that QR code, then we could go directly to your website. And you guys have a very beautiful website. Very beautiful website. Um, the art and the home, it's easy to navigate, easy to explain. You guys have your own uh, menu. That menu that you guys have, good information, whatever information that you could get from, I guess, the cultivators, and seems that like you guys linked it to, um, shit, I don't know what, to something, because it looks as similar to, was it I Heart Jane, or Weed, I don't know, maybe it was Weed Maps, not Weed Maps, like Leafly, and then, um, Whatever other can strain review sites that there are there, which I gotta start posting these fucking reviews on there. Um, I'm high. Fuck, this is hard. Damn. Look, I have nothing bad to say. Honestly, you guys are fucking killing it. You guys are doing awesome. I love your packaging. I love the. I like the information that you guys give. Like I said, the QR codes, that's something I think all dispensaries should do. That way, when we scan this QR code, we could get more information, maybe like a cannabinoid profile. But really, just like the menu that you guys have on your website, you could just, this poison pineapple will direct straight to that menu item. And then once you get your online sales going, because I see, because I clicked on that online order, and it's like, it's, you know, we're going to try, we're going to see if we're going to kind of, get online service going, which I think you guys really should, especially with all the hotels that you guys have. And if you get that running, I mean, it's not that hard for them just to like come down and do it. But, you know, people are lazy and people love technology. And they're like, oh, we if we if they could get it, even fucking deliver. Oh, my God. If you guys could fucking just deliver it to the hotels, you could just walk right there. Oh, but damn, that'd be so cool. <sighs> Mm. Oh man, 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 man. You guys got a good spot. You guys have an amazing spot. Amazing spot. You don't need a big fucking shop. Your little shop with the taco place right next to it, or with the El Jefe next to it. Fucking wonderful fucking idea. Who you just it's fucking wonderful. Because if I'm a tourist and I need it, because I because when I go. And I get out of, out, of, out of to a hotel in a different place, and I whatever I travel, I'm going to a place that has cannabis. I except for New York City, but now they're legal in New York City, so I'm definitely going. Um, plus, I got hooked up in New York City, but like I'll always. <laughs> but anyway, here it's legal, so you guys are just in such a sweet fucking spot. Oh my gosh. So anyway, if I was a tourist and I stayed at the Crown or any of the other hotels that I can't afford, I would hit your spot. I would get a fucking taco, easy squeezy lemon peasy with some nice lemons. And anyway, and I would get some weed from you guys. You guys got that mixtape thing. Um, this is definitely sativa. You got that mixtape thing, which is beautiful, fucking wonderful idea. Um, and they got the weed, the different strains in there, and their mixtape. On their website, if you go to the website, it's like, uh, fuck, I don't know what you're going to call it. I guess you host, um, 
promote or you're promoting a um, artist group, like the artist, uh, I think it was a frozen group. Fuck, I'm high. I'm high. Anyways, so they support a local artist uh, and they support a local uh, rap group as well. And you could go check out the mixtape if you got Spotify. I don't have Spotify, sorry. Uh, but you could easily get Spotify. I know I should get Spotify. Fuck, it's free, right? I'm thirsty. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, fuck am I talking about? Ganja guys. I'm talking about the ganja guys. Ganja guys. Okay. They support local artists, which I love that. Uh, great location, own parking, customer service. Yo, Levon, you, you're fucking dope. You're dope. Uh, great information that you, and like, like, had a good conversation as well. And that's what you want from a, like your butt tender to just, just kind of like connect with you sometimes. If you're in a rush, yeah, you're in a rush, but yo, I'm getting seven fucking strings, so. Um, oh yeah, and I didn't feel rushed too, which was like, cause I pick up seven strains, guys. I pick up seven fucking strains and like that shit's, uh, unless you have it already pre-packaged, you know, that's like some places do, they're like, they'll pop it off the shelf and they're like, they'll give it to you. No, it's like, you know, you guys get the weed and like, I know I saw those nugs, man. I saw those nugs. Oh, I was so happy. I was so happy. Fuck, I was so happy. So happy I like all the all the weed that I got stayed well in your packaging. Um except for what was it like uh Widowmaker number two? I think like the top broke off, but I don't even know where that went, but whatever. It looked like a kitty, it was pretty cute. So anyway, great customer service. Great location. What else? What else what else do I want to hit you guys up with? Your website's dope, easy to easy to maneuver and um, um, go. I'm fucking high. I don't even need to smoke anymore. I'm stoned, guys. That's stoned. I'm high. So website, your social media. There you go, social media. Let's talk about social media. You guys are doing great on social media. I see you guys, you know, respond to people that uh, comment on your uh, post that you, you know, do your likes and <clears throat> connect it to your Facebook. So good job. On, and, you know, you guys, they post quite frequently, quite often. Um, every, every day, every couple of days. So, um Fuck, yo, I'm high, I'm high as fuck, I'm high as fuck, oh shit, I'm high as fuck, I'm good, I don't need to smoke no more, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, just for you. So, they do doing good, I'm high, fuck, I'm high, okay. Yo, it's hard to, you know, I'm, I'm past my point, I'm way past my point. So I love that you guys are your location. Like I said, I love your location. I love your customer service. I love that you guys have a top, you know, in the food place here. <clears throat> I think uh, we talked about you guys were cultivating too, right? If I remember right. Um, it's been a week. I've had a lot of stuff happen to me. Uh, but yeah, I think you guys are cultivating too. So, you know, hope that works out. Um, your mixtape's dope. Shit, I'm high. Fuck. Nice jams in there. By the way, I was, I was, I was feeling that vibes. I was feeling the vibes in there. Nice music. Um, what song were you playing? Shit. I know, I know it was Mac Miller. Uh, I forgot what song it was. Um, I can't remember. I'm high now. So, what the fuck am I talking about? Oh, <laughs> God, you guys. Shit, I'm high. I was starting, now I'm thinking of Mac Miller. Stop. Focus, Serge. Focus. Okay. What am I talking? Damn, my hair's all fucked up. Anyway, um, you guys just, look, I have nothing uh, that's really like, con like, tell you guys, you guys just keep doing what you're doing and, you know, it's going to work out awesome for you guys. You guys are doing awesome. Uh, 
I'm feeling it. You guys, oh, your inside, the inside of your store is beautiful and the outside is beautiful too. I remember that used to be a karaoke place, so, uh, which I never went to, but anyway. The fuck am I talking about? Got gotcha, you guys, got gotcha, you guys, got gotcha, you guys, got gotcha, you guys, got gotcha, you guys. Social media, you're doing awesome. You know, keep it up. Uh, Facebook, you're doing awesome. Like, yeah, just keep it up, keep it up. Um, I would just probably just say, you know, uh, you know, you, uh, you gotta, you, <laughs> no, hold on. What am I going to say here? What am I going to say here? I want to say, um, you know, trying to, try and uh, give back to like nonprofits here in Alaska. It just looks good. It looks wonderful. You know, like help Beans Cafe if you can. Um, I, I'm going to say uh, some nonprofits may not accept your help because Canada, I don't know, that was a couple of years ago. Mm. Now they'll probably take your money now. Um, yeah, I'm just saying, you know, not support a nonprofit. That'd be awesome. Um, that really goes a long way. Um, support some foundation here, you know, Pride Fest or, you know, whatever you can. Uh, the local artists. And sh yeah, I love that. I love that. That's awesome. Um, keep that up. And yeah, just keep selling good ass weed. You guys sell good weed. And I love the weed that you guys sell. It's good weed. This one. Yeah, it's like feeling it a little bit in the nose. That's it. This one, it hits mild. It does hit mild. Oh, now I'm tasting that Sprite. That's why I'm like, is there lemon in it? Oh, it's the fucking Sprite. Ah, shit. <laughs> that's why That's why I try not to, like, uh, I don't, um, what the fuck? What am I trying to say now? What am I trying to say? I don't. Tarnish my. Fuck, I can't think anymore. I can't think anymore. I'm stoned. I'm high. I'm high in the sky. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. Um, I'm trying to talk about ganja guys. Ganja guys, love your packaging. Love your attitude. Love your social media. Love your website. Beautiful website. Love your website. Hope you guys get it at online ordering in. You guys got that shit worked out. Oh my gosh, man. Once, like, if they could just legalize, well, I know it's legalized because they got good titrations up in Fairbanks, but like, once they can figure out, like, the whole smoking indoors and on site consumption, fuck, you guys are like right there. Right there. And with tacos. And with tacos. Oh, anyways. Nah, I yeah, should cultivate. I'll make money off of that. That's a better plan. That's a much better plan. Because shit, when they figure out on-site consumption, it's like... Not, probably not in Anchorage. Not in Anchorage. Oh, gosh, I got some things to say about that shit, too. I do, I do. Man, that blue light technology. You don't want to smell it? Shit. Okay. I'm high. I'm high. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Oh, okay. Anyway, go to the ganja guys. <laughs> Smoke the ganja from the ganja guys. <clears throat> wow, I feel awesome. Damn. I'm not hot anymore. I feel completely, man, my temperature is like normalized and everything. The sweet's good. The sweet's good. So I'm looking at that drink. I want that drink. I really want that drink. <sighs> Poison pineapple. Yo. Hits mild, but... It's good, yeah, you know, it's good. Yo, know, my head's cleared and I feel like more in tune with a lot. <laughs> this is like my sensations are heightened, especially with my hearing now. Like I'm, li I'm listening to a lot more and it's hard for me to focus and really kind of think I'm more on like other sensories right now. Like on this train, I would love to just chill back and listen to some, oh, this would be great for some fucking music. Holy shit, yes. This would be great for some music. No wonder, ah, oh, because I'm just uh, sitting in here and it's just like my voice is kind of almost echoing back and I can hear my dogs outside and I can hear the cars driving by. Anyway, I can hear my daughter's friends left. Um, Anyway, I'm high. I'm high. Do I gotta shut up? Yeah, I gotta shut up. Oh, man. I'm feeling great. 
Kanja guys, you guys are killing it. You're doing awesome. Keep it up. What you're doing on social media, which the, with the weed that you're selling, where you're selling it, the prices that you guys have with the mixtape thing, that shit's awesome. Your website's beautiful. Parking and your butt tenders are awesome. So, yeah, I don't know. That's, I ain't got nothing. That's, yeah, yeah, killing it. Y'all killing it. Just keep doing what y'all doing. Keep doing what you're doing, and you're gonna, you know, reach up top there and be on the, one, you know, one of, the, one of the biggest hitters in the game. So, get the ganja guys all around town. Oh. Quality cannabis, good times, good vibes. Yeah, no shit. Okay. Um, I'm going to hit this. I'm going to shut the fuck up because I am past my 30-minute mark. So leave me a comment. Tell me, have you gone to the Ganja guys? And what is your favorite strain that you picked up from them? I want to know. Till tomorrow, goodbye. Stay high. Hit it with me. Hit it hard. Love. Peace. Chicken grease.